pretty darn good. Let's brush it up. Whoa, look at that. We'll just brush it on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So uh, we're back on, uh, or I'm back on, the uh, third tail light on the 98 Chevy Cheyenne cab. How oh, it sticks out like a wart. I want to French it. And uh, I never claimed to be a professional. I'm not gonna. I do have a heck of a lot of desire to get it and get it right and do it right. As right as I can do it. And uh, I'm gonna be up front with you guys. I don't, I don't sugarcoat nothing or lie. This is gonna be my third try. All right, so off camera, I already drilled out the mounting bolt holes on both sides. Now I'm getting ready to do the electrical hole for electrical wiring, obviously, to go through. I'll drill this out and we'll get right back to it. Okay. Got the holes drilled out like they're supposed to be, what I want them to be what they need to be. Next step is where I have these marked. I need to make cuts. And the reason for the cuts is once after I uh, make the folds on the bending machine, I need to make a rounded edge to fit the light. To make it easier to happen once the cuts are already made. So that's where we're going next. All right, got the notches all cut out with the cutting wheel there. Get a good look. Next, we're going to set up the brake, make the bends. Got it all set up in the metal brake. Got it, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got it where it's, my lines is right there on the edge. Same line as this one. And really all that's left is to stop talking and start bending. Okay. Here's the wife. She's playing music so I better get this done real fast. I don't want no copyrights or anything. But there we go, we got our bend. Now, flip it around to the other side, get the other bend. Okay, there we go, we got both sides bent. All right, a little something I wanted to show you guys. I made these two rounded pieces where they'll go in shape around the outside edge and these pieces will be used as a pattern for me to make these bins where I made the cuts so I can wind up with this shape on both ends of the light housing Okay, that should be good enough. Do a little grinding. Clean up that outside edge. Yeah, we'll be good. All right. So I have my marks made where these are supposed to go. Lined up at. With the light there. Got it all. Ready to go, let's 
Tap it in place. Like so. That's already lined up. going there take this out squeeze them together tack weld it bam we have our shape this film is sponsored by 7-eleven not oh 7-up not 7-up not 7-eleven <laughs> man we got some bloopers going on